Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic. And I'm Tren. And this is our guide to the Chevron's defense. So this is more of a defense against stopping a two turn. It can be used in a normal drive as well. Um, it spreads out and covers the side, both sidelines pretty well. It, it can be used, the LOS doesn't have to be a throwaway LOS, like it doesn't have to be just linemen, it could be strong players because they are somewhat supported, especially if you if you creep it one forward and you've got a player on the diagonal and that can protect the LOS. But the main purpose of this is to stop is to stop early pushes. So it's not so good against a turn eight drive, it's totally fine against a turn eight drive, but where it really shines is trying to stop a two turn touchdown because it's pretty difficult to, to, to go down the sides and it's because of this like tri diagonal formation it's not super easy to go through the middle um like there is a bit of a gap here so you you, you can push through either through here or you can push down here um, those are the main the main weaknesses of it it's good if you haven't got that many players you need to protect so like something like orcs or dwarves um naf style teams where there's not a great discrepancy in players like you know there's not too many skills on the team or the skills aren't too different so because you're only getting two players protected really these so these these two should be your most reactive players um because they they all they just can't be hit off the off the first turn everyone else can be though um it's also pretty decent against a blitz as you can see there would be a lot of space here to go into um but i mean this is this is going for two turn here so your opponent does have to cover the whole width against a blitz if it's an eight turn drive so that's that's a bonus for it it's like spreading the offense apart a bit and uh yeah that's it it's it's a fine defense you can use it most of the time the only thing comes with if you've got a lot of good players then you can only protect two so you know if you've got say four really good like chaos warriors or whatever two of them can get hit on you know and, and you don't really want that sometimes um this should be the player you don't you want to not get hit often because if they blitz this guy they can't break through at all and these four should be the ones with the best defensive skills because these are the four that they're going to target with you know trying to break through they're, they're either breaking through down here or through here basically um so yeah that's pretty much pretty much the chevron's defense i would say um so yeah right uh over to you i guess <laughs> I'll do my best trying to go through it. <laughs> Glorious. Okay. Whereas with the rule rule of five, I like to kind of split halfway with this one. Um, I've learned my lesson to just choose a side and go down that side. So that's what I'm going to do here. There's only one option, and that's choosing a side. So. Yeah. And even then, this isn't going to give me too much space to work with, really. No, that is that is the problem. You don't get you don't get too much space down there. There is the possibility of knocking down the OLS, uh, and you know, getting secondary threats through here a little bit, or a secondary screen through here a bit. But um, I can see you've more or less given up on the OLS. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I maybe should have uh, dropped them in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, potentially, yeah. I think it probably was worth knocking over this guy at least and then trying to dodge through there as a, a three plus. Yeah, yeah. The side one. I re I'm realizing that now. It's been a while since I've played against the setup, to be fair. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I'm trying to make the best of what I gave myself. Uh, it's not looking too great. <laughs> I think there is a Tato in the future. <laughs> oh, the, the Blood Bowl classic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I tried, I tried to make this pretty symmetrical, right? Uh, the tacklers over this side, so then made up for it by having more guard over here. Gotta get the ball to the catcher. And he just 
goes forward. And then I'm gonna try and make up for my previous mistake by taking this hit. Oof. Ha. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Got a lo you got reroll though. Oh. No. No. That's pretty bad. Uh, that's, yeah, that's it. So yeah, now this is a bit of a weakness of the uh, of the chevrons here, and that this guy can't get over too far, right? Like, and if it's a slower team, then the guys who were isolated over here can get, you know, quite isolated. People can get quite isolated over there. Um, but yeah, this is. I think I'm gonna blitz. Oh, it's a GFI. So yeah, so I can. Uh... This isn't gonna be too great, to be honest. Like it's pretty great, obviously, because it's three dice with yeah. tackle. But then not have to fail the <laughs> GFI. Yeah. I was hoping for quads or for the tri skulls. <laughs> Hexa hexa skulls. <laughs> hexa skulls. That's the word. <laughs> yeah, that's. I've never, I've never rolled that or seen it in one of my games. I have seen other people roll it, but uh, like, but not in a game I've been involved <laughs> with. <laughs> oh man. Next time you get into Chalice, it's going to happen to you. <laughs> <Maybe>. First action. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I, I think I just punched this guy. So yeah, I mean, this 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 did show how hard it was to like punch through, right? Um, if you were more experienced, you would have had a better shot at breaking through. Yep. But it showed... It showed that it is a lot more difficult. Like, you know, you just literally did... Well, you did break through with one player, but it, it was nothing like the Rule of Five one where, you know, you just you just get through automatically, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now there's not really much for me to do here, honestly. Yeah, this is looking really rough now. Like, totally, this is screened and walled off, isn't it? And then this is yeah. screened and walled off, and it's like... Humans are pretty good at it because they are fast. Like, faster teams are better with, with every defense. Uh, so maybe we shouldn't have gone with humans. But, you know, humans are like a, a good basic team for, like, beginners, aren't they? So teaching the mechanics. that I wouldn't really recommend beginners trying to win with humans so much because they're not really a great team. But I think they're good for learning mechanics and stuff. And they are fast. And I guess that does help the defenses. I like them as a beginning team just because well i didn't start with them i only liked them after i played orcs and then i really liked the movement speed yeah. after playing orcs when i was super slow yeah 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 orcs, orcs are yeah, incredibly I, slow i uh kind of just gave up on scoring uh if you can tell <laughs> I, there's not there's not there's not even a way for me to to do anything i don't think uh my my initial thought was I actually switched to how can I stop you from now scoring, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else I can do here. No, no, say. that's it. Yeah, that was yeah. Uh, that was, I guess, a good advert for the Chevron stopping the quick push there. Um, on a normal eight turn drive, they, they, you know, people aren't, shouldn't try for these kind of scores, right, in a normal drive, but. I think specifically against a two turn, I pretty much always go into chevrons. So, yeah, pretty, pretty good overall. And uh, yep. yeah, well, there you go. That was the uh, that was the chevrons defense setup guide. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>